Hello YouTube, Minecraft Fest is back here with another Redstone Saturday, actually being released on Sunday, but you get the idea. It's a Redstone video, and today I'm going to be showcasing um, a slime block multi-floor elevator. That's right, multi-floor. It's extremely cheap. Literally, you need no repeaters. You only need these. You'll need a block of your choice. You'll need some redstone. You'll need a bunch of buttons. Uh, you'll need a ladder. Well, you don't really need it. It's sort of optional thing. You'll see later. Then you'll also need a bunch of movable objects, and you'll also need some pistons, sticky pistons, and slime blocks. Um, so we're gonna showcase this, as you can see, very, very, fairly quick. Anyways, uh, we could just go like that. It's manual, and we could go up to the top penthouse. That failed. Um. <laughs> Right, right up here. It's very, very easy to build. No repeaters. I think I might have already said that, but you literally need no repeaters. That's like cartoon, like easy. It's crazy easy to build. Super survival friendly. And yeah, today I'm going to be showcasing you how to build this. So um, I hope you enjoy the video. Leave a like, comment, and let's get right into this. So we are going to want to start out by um, building sort of the base, like the fir the thing that's going to push you up to the second floor at the beginning right like this as you can see if we power this which we will right here um it pushes up that slime block and that will actually make you bounce if you're on it uh common 1.8 mechanic yeah like that hold shift to stop yourself from bouncing because if you don't you'll go like that but um so that's essentially what we're going to use to push you up through the floors now you need to make sure that it's only about like five blocks up because that's only about how much it will push you like safely without you needing to like grab onto something. So you're gonna want to make sure that your floor differentiation is only about that much. Um, just a little tip right there. So yeah, essentially what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to um build this. Then around it you are going to want to place obsidian blocks or any immovable object really where this thing is going to move because um if it if you have something like this and you trigger it like this, well, that's going to move with it, since it's going to stick it onto it. Um, so you're going to want a movable objects, objects that can't be moved, like so. And essentially, what you're going to have is then from here, you're going to have something that looks a little bit like this. This is sort of going to be your little transport tube, and this is going to be ground level for you on the first floor, a bit like this. So... That way, if we power that, you will bounce up. And now you're sort of seeing how this looks a bit like the platform that was in the showcase over here. Now, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to build a button. Uh, you could place it right there. You could you could differentiate the design any way you want. Uh, that As long as it still works, obviously. But then, as you can see, we can build something down that looks a bit like this. You do not need to do it this exact way. So I am sort of improvising, actually. <laughs> You, but really, like, you will probably, you will almost definitely need to change it. So, there will be a bit of redstone knowledge required just to know what will work and what won't work. Because you're going to need to change this for your needs. As you can see, if we press that, we get bounced up. Perfect. And so, we've essentially built that first part of the elevator. Now, what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to, um, if I'm remembering this correctly. Right. So, you're going to want to build two of these blocks of your choice. I did not mean to break that. And then... Um, like that, and then, over here, you're going to want to place that, and, um, that will essentially be your next floor. Right, so this, right here, is going to be your next floor, right here. Obviously, we're going to want to sort of copy it, right, like that. Um, this is going to be your next floor. Actually, you don't need to do that because it's not going to touch. But, um, this is going to be your next floor, your second floor, right here. And this is going to be the second thing that's going to push you up. So, then again build, um, you're going to want to build obsidian, or really any immovable object, obsidian is a common one, um, um, to, um, surround it by, and you should build that ladder just in case, because that will help you walk across like that, um, otherwise you can't walk across, obviously it's a one block gap, you'll, well, you, you'll usually fall like that, but as you can see, if we press this button, we will go up right here, and that's sort of the framework for the entire thing. Actually, you do not want to place any movable objects there. You want to place them one up because there's going to be nothing there and it doesn't really matter. Then you're going to want to sort of continue the same story a bit like this. You're going to want to build something that looks a tiny bit like this. Uh, you could sort of build that. Then you're going to want to place your button right here, not there. <laughs> and um, wire that button up um, from there down over to the piston right here. So, like I said, you, you'll have to 
kind of find out your own ways of doing this. The design will never be the same, unless, well, unless you're building the exact same thing, but um, e even then, it might still be different. You will have to totally improvise, you will really have to change the design just for your needs, like I've already said. But, um, like that, and we got bounced up. Now, um, actually, that was kind of very stupid of me, because I want it to be right uh, over here. Right, I want to put the redstone over here, but you want to make sure that your button is always, like, right here level with you. And now, as you can see, we've essentially got our sort of, we've essentially kind of got the beginning of the multi-floor elevator. You can see if we step right here, we'll go up. We're on the second floor now, but we could just walk across. Oh, God, that sometimes happens, by the way. You're just going to have to be aware of that. Uh, it will get a bit jittery. Um, but it Probably just because of the lag when I'm recording. But as you can see, now we could just do this and go up. That's kind of going to be our third floor. So you're going to want to sort of repeat this pattern. Um, once you're up like this, you're actually going to want to... Um, build the pistons right here and surround that right like this I believe um, no you're gonna want something like that um, you're going to yeah right so you're gonna want to build this up like that and surround it again uh, this is soon going to be you're soon gonna have your third floor you do not need to build this um, to three floors you could just build this to two floors, or whatever, up to the building limit, do whatever you want, but, um, then this is going to be our third floor right here, and so you're essentially just going to want to continue this pattern, right, like this, um, it's really just the same all the way up, as long as you want to build it, I built that to, like, five floors, I guess you could say, you do not need to build it that high, you could build it way higher, um, you could build this to the high limit to impress all of your friends, um, but as you can see, we should be able to um, wire this into the piston right there somehow, like this. Right, so this is a good way to wire it into the piston. Um, actually, no, that isn't, because now the piston's showing. Like I said, you'll have to figure a lot of it out on your own. Like, all designs are kind of totally different. But, as you can see, so we need to wire that from there down into like, there like this bit like this should work there we go so now we've wired that in and yeah just continue this all the way up um you'll have to like i said improvise like i've said a million times now love to improvise but now uh that failed there's gonna be a lot of debugging in this whole process but um hold on this is pulling onto something yeah, that's pulling onto that right there. Uh, you got to make sure it's not pulling onto anything. That too. This is simultaneously a simple and complex build. But, um, great. So now you're going to have... Oh, I did that totally wrong. Um, right. You're going to want that like that. And that button can go right there. Perfect. So, you know, um, it's kind of your way from here, really. This is sort of just the framework I'm teaching you. It's like that. Build that up like that. Then up like that. And boom, you're up. Like, you just really need to continue this process all the way up as high as you want, as high as you ever want, all the way up to the block limit. But yeah, this is the multi-floor slime block elevator. Extremely easy to build considering what it is. Um, unfortunately, it's not very compact, but it's just redstone. It's just redstone. And pistons, I mean, sticking pistons, and slime blocks, and obsidian, and you have got your, well, kind of messy, but you have got your slime block elevator. I hope that everyone who has watched this has enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, um, show some support. Thank, ev thank th Thanks, you guys, for watching, um, and this was Minecraft Festus, and I'm out. I will see you guys later.